Hey guys, Bob here, AKA Mystery Safe, and today I'm reviewing the Ice Cap In Sump Algae Turf Scrubber. This is it. This is the Ice Cap In Sump Algae Turf Scrubber already installed into my sump, and the setup was a breeze because it comes pretty much put together. The, all the plumbing is in place, you just have to screw on the pump and then plug it in, the lights and the pump, and you're good to go. You can already see the water flowing here. It's just set up. You can see the lights on the side. It fits into the sump rather nicely. My sump is a little tight, but I got it in there. I have the dosing pumps right above it and the hoses going around it. It's something that I've got to work on in the future. But even with that, it works out really well and I like it. It's doing a great job. Here I am showing you how easy it is to remove the screen for the Alge Sheriff Scrubber. So you'll see that there's just a uh, screw-in part on the side. You take the lid off, you unscrew the plumbing from the main pump, and you just kind of lift it out. Again, my sump is kind of a tight area because of the dosing pumps, but it comes out pretty easily. I have to tip it forward just a little bit to get it out, but it comes out. And this is only after about 10 days uh, that after the break-in. The break-in took about a week, and then uh, 10 days, and it started growing algae on it fairly well. In harvests after this one, I've gotten much more off of it. It grows it like a weed. Well, it is kind of a weed, so it's a good thing that it's growing that quickly. But you can see right here, this is only after about 10 days on the first time, so it still had to, to be seeded pretty well. You can see even as I'm scraping it, it comes off pretty well at this point. That is because it is new. Um, once I had it on there and it's running for about a month or so, when I clean it like that, it looks green afterwards. You can see the, the grid on it, but it looks very green. So it is doing a wonderful job. But this, again, this is the first time I'm harvesting and it's getting quite a bit for it. I've also been monitoring my phosphates and they are dropping pretty well at this point just by doing this. I'm not doing any other uh, phosphate removal other than this. No GFO, no uh, chemical phosphate removal. I am just using the algae turf scrubber and it is doing a wonderful job. I've had other algae turf scrubbers, and to be honest, I've liked them all. I've even had some DIY ones in the past, and they've all worked well. Um, I've even had other ice cap ones, and I've been pleased with them. I've had the macroalgae reactors, and I've done catomorpha, uh, just the chamber, and using an algae turf scrubber really is my favorite way of removing nitrates from the aquarium, nitrates and phosphates. I really like the algae turf scrubber. I think it's a natural way of doing it, you're not using chemicals. Not that they don't have their place, but I really do prefer a more natural way, and this is a great way. So this is the Ice Cap In Sump Algae Turf Scrubber, and I like it a lot. Here I am putting it back on. See that I leave uh, some of the algae back on the screen, and I put it back in and get it started up again. It's really easy. You can see I just put it in, simply screw it back down. Make sure everything's tight and that it won't leak water. I'll give it a quick wipe because I'm messy and then simply put the lid back on and you're ready to go. Overall, I think this is a great algae turf scrubber. Ice cap, you hit a home run. I highly recommend this. Guys, I'm Bob, AKA Mr. Reef Safe. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment below.